the Micromax is an incredibly tough and easy to use scanner. The 15 second boot up time means you'll soon be scanning and in front of the patient. Once you've turned the scanner on, press the patient button to enter the patient details. Minimum entry is required like the owner's name and the animal name and once we've done this we can then select one of the veterinary presets. This is shown here as exam type. A simple drop down produces presets for different imaging applications. For example in a small animal scanning environment this would be abdominal or cardiac. The presets on the Sonosite Micromax are very very good meaning minimal imaging adjustment is needed once they're set. We're now ready to scan. The Micromax is incredibly easy to use but like all ultrasound machines there are some controls which will always need adjusting such as the gain, the frequency and depth being viewed. The gain controls are shown just here. We have an overall gain a near field gain and a far field gain to ensure that you'll always get a balanced image. The frequency is controlled just here by this rocker switch. Frequency is labelled either as resolution for high resolution viewing of superficial objects, general for an overall imaging perspective and penetrating mode for viewing objects which are further away. The depth control is here and is shown on the screen here in centimetres. Images can be stored easily by freezing the image and then using the cine loop controls to select the required image. A quick press of the save key saves the image to the hard drive. Clips can also be saved by pressing the Save Clip button. There are two options here. You can save a number of seconds, or if you're in a cardiology exam, you can save a clip by heartbeats, for example, three heartbeats in length. As well as sending the images to a PC, the images can also be reviewed on the scanner by pressing the Review button. Here we have a list of patients that have been scanned and by moving the cursor we can select a patient and then press review. You can then scroll through the images here or press list to bring back the list of patients on the scanner. The main imaging controls are shown just here. At the moment we're in two-dimensional imaging. So the machine can also be configured with colour Doppler, spectral Doppler, so it can be either pulsed wave or continuous wave, or M mode. At any time if you want to go back to basic two-dimensional settings and you're not sure what you've done, a simple press of the 2D button resets the scanner. The machine also features dual 2D imaging so that if you want to compare two structures you press the dual to image one structure and then the update key to image the other structure. This way for example you could compare liver and spleen on a dog if you couldn't get them side by side. Or in equine musculoskeletal imaging you might want to compare two legs a simple press of the 2D button takes us back to standard imaging. There are a comprehensive range of measurements on the scanner and these can be accessed by pressing one of the two measurement buttons here. The caliper option gives a simple unlabeled two-dimensional measurement. For more comprehensive measurements we need to enter the calx package. In cardiology mode, this gives us a comprehensive list of common cardiac measurements, including 2D, M mode, and Doppler. The zoom function 
produces a live 2D zoom on a selected portion of the screen. Once pressed, move the select area to the item of interest and then press the zoom button again to get two times magnification. Press 2D again to go back. Once you've finished scanning, it's important to press the patient button again and end the exam. This then tells the scanner that you've finished and allows the images to be sent to the PC. That was the Sonosite Micromax, an incredibly easy to use ultrasound system which everyone in the practice will want to use.